Ilham Fanous grew up in Afghanistan. At the time, the Taliban had made playing or listening to music a crime. You couldn't make any music, you couldn't play any instrument, you couldn't sing. You could be arrested. You could be arrested or, or you could be killed. American forces put an end to that in 2001 when Elham was four. But only 25 pianos remained in the whole country, he says. Elham waited for hours every day to practice on one. My passion and my, my ambition is to be one of the greatest in the world. He says his talent has sacrifices. He's not seen his family for the four years of college. None of it would have happened if it hadn't been for those U.S. troops that gave music back to the Afghan people. So Elham wrote an open letter to the U.S. troops who served there. I wish I could talk to each of you. I will tell you that a generation of young Afghans has grown up in a civil society, which you enabled through your service and courage. I would ask you not to despair that your sacrifice was wasted. I'll prove it was not. I'll always say thank you through my lifetime of music. He's now headed to grad school at the Manhattan School of Music. Dreams intact, gratitude at the ready. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.